What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so, we, we, we're having a, a nice, interesting adventure right here. We, you know, we already have five badges. Had our first uh, full-on trade with Pokemon Leaf Green. Had trade Pokemon Evolved and all that stuff. And what else, what else, what else? Yeah, we are... Yeah, we are on pace to finish this walkthrough a little earlier than expected, guys, because I already written it down, and it looks like, to me, we're going to have a, a very short walkthrough right here. And, uh, well, thankfully, you guys have chapters here. I'm going to keep on saying that. Thankfully, you have chapters. That way, you guys can see what is in this whole adventure right here. So, in this episode, we're going to be going to Saffron City. I know, I know, I'm forgetting about the cycling road, but we will be getting to the cycling road on our way back down to Fuchsia City, uh, that way we can get to Cinnabar Island. So, we're gonna go straight ahead to the gates right there. That way we can actually, uh, you know, get to Saffron City. Okay, so I accidentally went into the Saffron Gate, but here's what it looks like when you go into the Saffron Gate. The guy will notice the tea right here in your bag, and he's like, Oh, that tea! It looks awfully tasty! Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks! Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug. <laughs> If you want to go through Saffron City, uh, look, you can go through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. So, we are now enabled to go through Saffron City. I'm sorry, guys, that this actually happened. Uh, <laughs> you can actually go through any kind of any gate that goes through Saffron, Northeast, Southwest. It doesn't matter. They will do the same thing. So, let us continue on going into Saffron City. Okay, so let's go right ahead into Saffron City. So, as you guys can see right here, we could have gone to Saffron City early on, and, uh, well, there are Team Rocket members right here. Now, remember, if you go into Saffron City a little early, without doing the Lavender Town uh, Pokemon Tower, this guy will be in the way of this door right here, the Silph Co. So, just keep an eye out for that. Now, first thing is first, guys. We're going to be going straight to Mr. Psychic's house, because we need to grab a little item right here, and that is this. Yes, wait! Don't say a word. You wanted this! We got ourselves the TM29... Psychic. You already know, don't you? 20, TM29 is Psychic. It's an attack that may also lower the target special de uh, attacks, or stats, I should say. So that's one thing that you can actually grab. The other things, too, guys, is after this whole episode right here. So, like I said in the last one, we are going to be going into the Silph Co. And we are going to be doing a bit of a speed run into this one right here, guys, because this place alone is long. Long and uh, just whatever. You guys have seen my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. You guys have seen my Pokemon uh, Yellow walkthrough. It takes quite a bit. And in previous walkthroughs that I've done episodes on this, yeah, it's taken, yeah, it's taken its toll right here. So as you guys can see, here's the team that I have right now going into this this adventure right here. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be switching up here and there. We're gonna be powering up our Pokemon for when we start progressing. And yes, when it comes to these kinds of battles right here, we are going to be speeding up our battles because, well, yeah, there are a whole bunch of Team Rocket members, and they have the same Pokemon going into this whole thing right here. And obviously, yes, I'm getting my butt kicked, and, well, I don't want to bore you guys with, uh, with the same old stuff. We're just going to be breezing through this, finding items that we need, and, uh, you know, going, going on our merry way right here. So as you guys can see... We got ourselves Eradicate, and we got Brick Break, and we're going to be switching up right here. There we go, Shockwave for the win, and yes, we have defeated another Team Rocket member. So, let's see. Yeah, you're going to be battling a lot of trainers right here, guys. So if you guys want to boost up your Pokemon's, uh, Pokemon's uh, levels, this is another place to go, because the next gym is going to be a difficult one, despite the whole, you know, physicality portion. So here we go, taking on a Cubone, and... And yes, as you guys can see, we're having a little issue with the Cubone, so we're going to be going straight to Shocker right here. And just like that, we grow to level 35, yes. Okay, so make sure to get, make sure to have a lot of uh, healing items here too, guys, because uh, before you get to the, the area where you can actually self-heal, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be quite some, it's going to be some time before you get there. And it's off limits here, go home. Hmm. Yeah, go home or something like that. So here we go, taking on Scientist Jerry, coming out with his Magnemite. Here we go, and 
Let's go with Smasher right here. Dig attack for the win, and Magneton's coming coming out. So let's go right ahead and do the same old, same old. Since it is a Steel Tap Pokemon, yes, you better think that. So let's see. Is there anything that we need? Okay, so now obviously we need a card key to get through these whole areas right here, guys. And I think there is a simple way to getting there. It's just you actually have to go through these teleporters right here. And you obviously gonna be battling some kind of people. You're causing us problems! Well, battle three Pokemon trainers. Obviously I'm gonna be a problem. I am a problem. And here we go, taking on a Grimer, and just like that, book is grows to level 33. Let's go with Smasher, Dig Attack, and just like that, level 37. So, see guys, we've been training, we've been doing our part, and, well, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, you go right here, you will be going into floor number 8. If you talk to this guy, I wonder if Sylph is finished. You can't go through anywhere right now because you don't have the card key, so... Here we are in floor number eight. Actually, you just went through there. Okay, so never mind. Talk to this guy. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Well, he's gonna be one of the four Rocket Brothers that's about to get their butts kicked. So here we go. Rocket Grunt wants to come out and coming out with the wheezing. And yes, look at that. Okay, so coughing. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got Ultra Psycho, it's very simple. Check the last episode. We actually did a, a real trade, guys. And again, the link will be on the description of the of the previous episode if you guys want to see how the trade happened. Or how how you can actually trade from the Visual Boy Advance. And well, let's see. Team Rocket's bus is, uh, boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen if that tyrant takes over our company? Oh, I don't know. Just, uh... Total world domination, since you guys create stuff that, you know, kind of... It's kind of like a mass uh, like weapons of mass destruction and all that stuff. Okay. So here we have another threat from a Team Rocket member. He's coming in, and Raticate, we go. Claim, and coming out with a... Coming out with an R-Box, so let's go ahead and mess with it a little. Let's go with Psybeam, just like that. Coming out that way with the Gold Bat. This guy's one of the stronger Rockets, and... Yeah, let's go ahead and share the wealth right here. Let's go with a Surf Attack. Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I taught Leonardo Surf, which is also good. And we're going to be going down to floor number 7 and scaring this guy. And, of course, he's one of the four Rocket Brothers. Probably useless right here. So, here we go. And he's coming out with his Cubone right here. Now, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We already know what happened last time, and that was actually easy. And there we go. Now, it's kind of messed up that Team Rocket members are using Cubone because, well, didn't they kill their mother? I mean, I'm just saying. And, well, let's see. Uh-oh. I smell a little mouse. No, that was just me farting, that's all. Deadly, silent but deadly. So here we go, taking on another Rocket Grunt. And he is coming out. He just came out with his Raticate. So this one right here should be easy. Flame Wheel. And finish it off with an Aerial Ace. Let's go Shocker. And let's continue on right here. And there we go. Ratatata is coming out. So let's go straight for Tornado right here. Fly Attack for the win. And there we go. So this right here has improved the speed of uh, episodes that we're going to be doing and this guy is going to take on you guys so make sure to get the item before you battle him and <laughs> you mistook me for a silk worker yeah can't really trust anybody but here we have a scientist his name is Joshua and he's coming with his electrode let's go dig and flame wheel for the win coming out with muck and Psybeam. wow he survives one attack, and here he comes at level 35. So yes, he is done. Oh my god, okay. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Now, those who are new, why am I speeding up everything? Again, I've already played this game before as a site, like as a, well as a, I don't know, you guys like to call it an LP, a playthrough, I don't know, you know, without any, any narration. Um, yeah. I've already played this, Leaf Green and all that stuff, so I might as well just show you guys the... show you guys everything uh, speed, sped up and everything, because, you know, 
we've already been through here before. Don't want to bore you with the details. And this is not the room, but that room does have some good items. So let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Tornado, see what it can do right here. And the, that rotten president serves him right for shipping me off to Tiki, the Tixi the, 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 the branch. That's why Team Rocket came after us. I'm sure of this. Oh, wow. He he is not happy right here. So here we go. Taking on Taylor. And he's coming out with his Voltorb. So this one right here is going to be an interesting one. And he's coming out with a Magneton. So I don't want to risk anything. And there we go. Budkiss grows to level 34. And, well, let's see. Ultra Psycho. Let's go with the side Beam. And let's continue on right here. Side Beam for the win. And just like that, we defeated another guy. Now, we still need to find the... We still need to find the card key. And this guy is like, You dare betray Team Rocket? Now, I never got that... I never got the, the, the comment right here. Because I, I was never with Team Rocket to begin with. So, <laughs> I don't know. So here comes Zubat, here comes Tornado, let's get it, fly attack for the win, fly attack again, and fly attack again, let's go with a fury attack, and there we go, Tornado is victorious, yes, okay, so let's see, actually let's talk to this guy, if you stand for justice you betray us bad guys, oh, so he finally answers the question, okay, let's see, if you talk to this guy, he's like, the rockets came and took over the building, okay, uh, Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, help me please! Okay, and this lady's like, that man next to me! He's such a coward. Yeah, later on you're gonna, yeah, you're, you're gonna be like, yes, uh, I will marry you. So really, who's looking bad right there? I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Yeah, the four Rocket Brothers is about to get their butts kicked. And here he's coming out with a Machop. This is not good for him, so let's go straight for a fly attack. Level 34, and he's coming out with a Pokemon that I've already had, and just like that, flame out. Okay, so let's see. Let's go downstairs, and yes, we are in the room where we can actually grab ourselves uh, that item, and... What? There shouldn't be any children here. Okay, so this guy... This guy is working for Team Rocket, and he is a juggler. And he's going to be coming out with a Kadabra. And a good thing for Tornado, it does have a dark type attack. So, oh wow, it's disabled. So let's go physical. And he's going to be coming out with a Mr. Mime right here. So let's go straight for Budkis. And Budkis Flame Wheel. And just like that, critical hit. We win. Okay, so here we have three charts. And one of them is, is a Pokemon report. Some Pokemon have confirmed to evolve when they are traded. We saw that in the last episode. We traded for all Pokemon that, you know, can be traded, uh, can evolve through trade in the Kanto region. And let's see, over 350 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. That is true in this generation. And uh, this one, the lab created a Porygon, the first virtual reality Pokemon. And if you guys know something about Porygon, it is one of the most expensive Pokemon that you can actually find here, uh, especially in the game corner. now. I think there is a difference in price in both Leaf Green and Fire Red. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but in Fire Red, Porygon is 9,999 coins, while in Pokemon Leaf Green, it is uh, it is about around 6,500 coins. I could be wrong, but in Pokemon Red and Blue, it's it's basically the same thing. I just can't remember which which version it was which. I mean, I did play off screen and did all that stuff, so <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of know. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on right here. Talk to this guy. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. Okay, bring it on, scientist. His name is Boo. He likes to say it in French. And let's go with the big booty buttocks right here. Yes, let's intimidate him. Anywho, um, so, let's see, I don't know if I said that, yeah, in the last episode, I did say that, you know, I was playing through Pokemon, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, and Sapphire, and Ruby, and the reason is because later on this week, you guys will be getting something new for weekend-only things, and that is Pokemon Stadium, and... 
yeah, I kind of want to be ready for trades and different kinds of teams and all that stuff, guys. And, and, yeah, thank, thank Christmas break for all this, you know, winter break. Um, I think the very first episode will be coming out this Saturday, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, I, and speaking of, like, weekend, war uh, weekend only walkthroughs, I just want to say thank you guys for receiving Pokemon Coliseum well. Uh, I know that I've only played one episode, one episode in last year's, uh, like, last year's little events and all that stuff, and I didn't get done with it or anything like that, but thank you guys for receiving it well. It will continue, by the way. And here we found ourselves the card key, which can open doors now, so let's go ahead and grab some items right here, because I, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want to grab items. Let's see. Open that, and everything's open. There is an item right there. We found ourselves a TM01, which is Focus Punch. And this place, this thing will take us to room number four. Or three, I should say. And... Wow, it looks like to me that this is the area right here where you can actually get to... You can actually get to Gary. So, first is first. Let's go ahead and battle everybody. And then after that, let's just... Yeah. So he took, he supports Team Rocket more than Silph Co. Because I know that there's a there's a teacher here that will teach you Thunder Wave. I just kind of want to find him. So here we go. We're taking on uh, Jose, and he's going to be coming out with his Electrode. And we're going to speed it up. There we go. And just like that, we're going to be going with Ultra Psycho. And there we go. Ultra Psycho level 36. Learning Psychic. So let's go right ahead and teach it Psychic right here. And there we go. A much more powerful move. So, if you guys are wondering, you go right here. And this will get you to Gary, but I'm not going there right now because... We kind of need to battle everybody. Grab every item, and let's see. Talk to this guy. I work for Self Co. What do I do? Well, just let me handle everything. And, well, this, was, this one will take us to the outskirts right here. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Leonardo right here. And battle this guy. Quit messing with us, kid. Hmm. Quit messing with you. Okay. So here we go. Taking on a Team Rocket Grunt. And he's going to be coming out with his Raticade. Thankfully, Leonardo's a little faster than this. Let's go, Mega Kick. And coming out with a Hypno. Mega Kick. Bite Attack. And this one's not disabled anymore. What? Are you serious? Okay. Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss again. And just like that, he gives up. Everything's right in the world. So let's see. There's a oh yeah, there, there there's a war panel right there. Okay, so I think I got down to yes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if we can actually find uh, important air, important items before we finish up this whole thing right here. So if you go right here, talk to this lady. She's like, Eek! no, stop, help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm so I'm sorry. I thought. Will you forgive me if I teach your Pokemon Thunder Wave? Yes, I do have a Pokemon that needs to be taught Thunder Wave. So, let's go right ahead. Let's see, Ultra Psycho. I want to teach it to Ultra Psycho right here. I kind of want to see what moves I, I could replace it with. And, uh, this is too, well, it's too rich for my blood right here, so. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her again. Thunder Wave. Let's go ahead and give it to uh, Shocker. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, a quick attack right there. So there it is. And Thunder Wave causes paralysis in, a, in the target Pokemon. A, par a paralyzed Pokemon may be unable to move in the, in the battle. It's an electric type move, so it won't work on some Pokemon, which is true. And well, let's grab this. And we have opened this. And yes, this guy is a self-employee, but he's battling us, so that is a complete lie. And here we have Connor coming out with four of his Posen Pokemon, so let's go ahead and speed it up. Surf Attack, level 41, let's go Ultra Psycho, Psychic Attack, and continue it on right here, look at that, and he's coming out with another Weezing, and just like that we have defeated, well, Connor or whatever his name is. I work for both Sylph and Team Rocket. Okay, that is that is a betrayal of the worst kind right there. You got a mole, I think that's what they call them. And well, let's see, I think we've already been here. 
So remember that, guys. Floor number three. We actually have to go there to get to Gary. So here we are in floor number four, and I think we didn't battle this guy. Intruder spotted. Okay. All right, let's go. Bring it on. Take it on a Team Rocket Grunt with his uh, Ekans right here. So let's go ahead and speed it up right here. Seismic Toss twice. Coming out with a Zubat. Let's go with Shocker. And just like that, we're going to be going for our Smasher right here. And let's go for the Brick Break, Body Slam, and there we go. Wow, getting his book kicked. Let's see what this item is all about. And we found ourselves a TM41 Torment, a very good move, a very good Dark type move. And this one will lead us right here. I think we didn't battle this guy yet. And yes, he has taken control of Silco. Alrighty, bring it on. Here we go, Team Rocket Grunt. And he's coming out with his Machop. All right, time to make quick work of this guy right here. So here we go, Sur Surf Attack, and let's go with Smasher right here. Rock Slide, and Body Slam. There we go. Easy victory. Okay, so this, I, okay, so if you go right here, you'll be able to find a few items. Here we have an Escape Rope, which we will be using later on. Full Heal, and this one, Max Revive, which we do keep safe. Just for those important battles, and if you talk to this guy, shh, can't you see I'm hiding? Yeah, he's he's hiding well. Okay, so let's see. I think we've already battled the guy very, like up top. I could be wrong. There we go, and no, we haven't battled him yet. My Pokemon are my lawyer's servants. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Rodney, and he is coming out with his Electrode. So it's just one of his Pokemon right here. Type disadvantage right there, and yes, yeah, Surf Attack does its thing, especially when it's over leveled. And well, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna be going up to the next floor right here. So give me a sec, guys. I am getting a bit of a phone call right here. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so long talk, long, long talk. Really, really need to learn how to use that, that silence thing for my phone. Okay, so we're going to be going into more battles right here, and I think we didn't battle this guy, right? Oh yeah, this guy right here is like, we worked on the ultimate Pokeball, which would catch anything. He has, uh, he's actually talking about that, uh, Master Ball right there, and yes, here we go. Found ourselves a Protein, and let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Because I have a feeling this guy's going to come out with, like, some Electric-type Pokemon. So, let's go with the Smasher, and those thugs that took over our building! Their boss said that he was looking for a strong Pokemon. I hope our president managed to avoid trouble. A strong Pokemon. Huh. I wonder what that could be. So, it looks like to me that we've already been in this room right here. So, we're going to be going upstairs yet again. And, yes, we've already battled everybody right here, including the Cowardly Lion right there. So, let's go ahead and grab two more items right here that will actually help us. And this one is the HP up which is a very good vitamin, and this one is the X Special, which can actually help us with it in battles. And it looks like we battled everybody right here, so let's go straight up, and yeah, it looks like we battled most of these trainers right here, so wow, that was pretty fast. Let's go right here, grab this, found ourselves a TM-08, which is bulk up, and here we have another room and another individual. A child intruder? That must be you. Yeah, it's a child intruder. That is me. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another Team Rocket Grunt. And he is, of course, coming out with a Sand True. Oh, God. I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one. Doesn't matter. Body Slam. And there we go. We get some points. And he's coming out with a Sand Slash. So this will allow us to switch to Leonardo. So here we go. Leonardo, what's up? All right, bring him out. Sand Slash. And time to take the Surf Attack right here. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. And, well, let's see what he says. Go home before my boss gets tickled, ticked off. Tickled off? Not tick, ticked off. Ticked off. And, uh, let's see. We go right here. We're going to be opening up this room. And you! It's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't! Really? I just beat everybody right here and... Stop moving! 
It would be it would be bad if Team Rocket took over Sylph uh, or our Pokemon. Hmm. And then Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which can which catches any Pokemon. And well, let's see. Catches every Pokemon. That is a big big must. Now the funny thing is that you can actually capture you can actually capture uh, Mewtwo regularly regularly right here. And, uh, let's see, did we already battle this guy? Uh, call for backup, yeah. So, we can capture Mewtwo regularly right here. And it, as you guys probably already know, that, you know, there is a legendary dog that will be roaming around here once you have completed this whole walkthrough. And, well, we open this one up. And, let's see what this guy has to say. Okay, so, he wonders. He really does wonder, so let's go straight up and see what we can actually find right here. And here is floor number nine. I don't think I battled anybody in this one. And yeah, we didn't because this guy right here, I've eluded him. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail him. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on another scientist. His name is Ed. And he is going to be coming out with his Voltorb right here. So let's go Smasher. And let's go with a dig attack. And he's going to be coming out with a coughing, so let's go body slam. And luckily for us, we do not get poisoned since we are a poison type Pokemon. Flame wheel for the win and hammered. Yes, we hammered him. Okay, so let's see. We've already gone through here. And it looks like to me, yes, we got another Rocket Brother, I believe. Yes, a Rocket Brother. Now, it would be nice, it would have been nice to actually have these Rocket Brothers dressed up a certain way. Kind of like, you know, the actual Team Rocket from the, from, uh, from the anime and all that stuff. But I guess they didn't want to do that. And <laughs> but still, it would have been cool. And, well, look at that. Smasher grows to level 38. And he's going to be coming out with his Drowsy. So let's go straight for Tornado right here. Pursuit attack, fly again. And look at that, level 35. And we're going to continue on. Yes, we are poisoned thanks to this guy, and bam, we have defeated him. And you can't call upon any of your brothers anymore because we have defeated everybody. So let's go straight right here. And you will be able to find a lady right here with these two beds. Talk to her, and she's like, you look tired. You should take a quick nap. And bam. Now, she will only be able to heal you when this whole Team Rocket situation is going on. After you've defeated everybody, including Giovanni, the whole healing thing will be off. She'll just be thanking you, and, well, <laughs> that's pretty much it right there. So, here we go. Let's go straight for Leonardo. And, well, let's see what this guy has to say right here. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid! Yes, they do. They do adore me. And, well, here we go, taking on a Team Rocket Grunt. He is coming with his Drowsy. And let's go for Leonardo right here. Let's go for a Bite Attack. And, well, let's go ahead and surf. And Machop is coming. Let's go for Ultra Psycho. Psychic attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. Let's see what he has to say. If I started as a trainer at your age. Well, I don't know. You're probably not a G like I am, but maybe, maybe. You would have been going the right path. And here we are in floor number 10. And, well, there we go. We're opening it up. And let's see what this lady has to say. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so she's scared, and I think this guy's a Team Rocket member. Enough of your silly games! Yeah, that's when you know that you're getting in their head. You're living in their head red free. So here we go. Travis wants to tag on us, and he is coming in with his Magnemite right here. So let's go, Leonardo. Surf attack. For the win, and well, Ultra Psycho, Psychic attack. Ultra Psycho grows to level 37. And just like that, we have defeated another uh, scientist right here. And I believe we got one more guy right here. Welcome to, to welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join me. So good to join him. Okay. So here we go, another one. And we're going to be taking on his Machoke. Probably a little over-leveled right here. And, well, Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, Leonardo grows to level 42. And it's learning Rain Dance. This move right here boosts, uh, it will boost up any water type attacks. And you know what? I'm going to take away Bite for the time being, alright? 
Trust me on this, this will, will actually work. I don't really need Leonardo for any kind of like, you know, psychic type Pokemon or anything like that. So, there we go. He is stunned. I am happy. Way to go. And let's see what these items are. Found ourselves a Carbos. Boosts up our speed. A rare candy. Give us one more level. And an Ultra Ball. Okay, so I think we have collected everything. Or is there one more thing? Yeah, there's one more thing right here. As you guys can see, we reached the top floor, and there is an individual right here. He's like, HALT! Do you have an appointment with my boss? Not really. Okay, so, let's see. He's got four po- or he's got five Pokemon. Let's go with a Surf Attack, and Redita. Let's go this. Let's go five on five, see what happens. And let's go Shocker. Shockwave. There we go, Ekans. Let's go Smasher. Look at that, we're going five on five. Beating him with everything he's got. Let's go with Butkus. And Butkus goes with the flame wheel for the win, and just like that, he got demolished. Exactly. Lexi, watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. Huh. And here is an item, it's a Zinc. So you're gonna be getting a lot of vitamins right here, guys. And well, as we remembered, we need to go to floor number eight, or floor number three. But, let's see. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna heal up my Pokemon, get to floor number three, and then we get to the whole Gary situation. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back, and we are in floor number three, and I think it's this one right here. And there we go, we are in front of Gary, and what needs to happen now is we need to put our Shocker right in front, because he is going to have his Pokemon first. And look at this, what kept you, Draven? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Yeah, we did get better. We got a lot better. So here we go, guys. Another battle against Rival Gary, and he is coming out with his Pidgeot. Yes, this guy, he, he's been doing some training. But I brought myself some, uh, some reinforcements right here. Let's go. Shockwave from Shocker. And let's see if it works. And it almost does. Holy crud. Okay. So here we go again. And he, well, of course, he's going to hit us one more time. So let's go with Shockwave yet again. And thankfully, you know, we switched out our, our Sparky for Shocker because that quick attack would have messed us up quickly. And bam. Just like that, we have defeated Pidgeot. And Shocker grows to level 36 and is learning Pin Missile. This could be useful when we go up against, uh, what's his face, uh, what's her face? Yeah, Sabrina. And so for the time being, I'm actually gonna take away Dig, guys. I already bought extra Dig attacks just in case for the situation. There we go, Pin Missile. And well, let's see, coming out with a Gyarados. Let's go ahead and continue this whole thing. Yes. One thing that really bugs me about Gary, he's using, like sometimes he uses the Pokemon that I wanna use. And it makes it just, it makes it so much more frustrating. So what was, what's gonna happen is, yes, I know I have Ultra Psycho with me. No, it's not going to be on my team very much long. It's just gonna be there because, well, we got stuff to do, guys. There are some other things that we need to do. And well, Shockwave, quadruple. Yes, quadruple damage. There we go. Gyarados is not so happy right now. And he's going to be coming out with a Growlithe, and look at this, guys. Yes, he has a Growlithe, too. That frustrates me to no end because, yes, I also have a Growlithe. So a lot of our Pokemon are similar. We need to switch this up. And, well, let's see. Let's go. Let's go with a Rock Slide. Let's mess around with this Pokemon just a little bit. And that almost defeats Growlithe right there. And here comes a Flame Wheel attack. And this one hits us pretty good. Let's go again with the Rock Slide, and that defeats Growlithe. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, and well, he's going to be coming out with an Alakazam. Let's go with someone physical right here. Let's go with Leonardo. I bet Leonardo could actually do it. Alright, Leonardo. Time to do it. Time to do it. Level 35 Alakazam. Let's go with the Mega Kick, and that misses. Good gravy. And yes. Alakazam is raising up its attack right there, so this Mega Kick will only do half the damage that it's supposed to be doing, and that right there takes most of its HP, so let's go with a Seismic Toss, and there we go, 
Seismic Toss for the win. Now we just got to use a Pokemon that, yeah, <laughs> that will not get hit by that, uh, by that move that we're talking about. So let's go with Budkiss. And yes, we already got an Arcanine, homeboy. We're doing better than you. So I think the move should be hitting uh, Budkiss right about now, I think. So let's go with a Dig Attack. That way we don't get hit by either one of these Pokemon right now. So let's go. So Sweet Scent doesn't hit. And the Future Sight Attack misses, and it failed. Alrighty, so we did a good job right there from avoiding two attacks at once. And, well, there is a Sleep Powder. You gotta love that. Okay, let's go. The Reflect has worn off. Let's go right ahead and uh, wake up our Pokemon right here. So, yeah, we got a bunch of vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. We got a full heal. So, let's go. Buckus has become healthy. And here comes a Razor Leaf that does not work. Let's go. Flame Wheel attack. And there we go. Flame Wheel. Nearly does it. Good gravy. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep on doing this. So, we're going to speed this one up because... Knowing Gary, he's going to try and put me to sleep every single time I get a, a flame wheel off, so not this. Let's go right ahead and do this flame wheel again. We're going to do the tango. He's going to go with sleep powder. And, yeah. Oh, no, he's he, he's he's not risking it anymore. He's just going to go for razor leaf. <laughs> it wasn't even a critical hit, homeboy. So here we go. Finish him off. Flame wheel for the win. And just like that, book is Big booty butt kiss does his thing. And Gary has been defeated. He's like, oh man, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. I've always been ready, homeboy. Well, Draven, I'm moving up on ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Draven, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Flipping you off, homeboy. Flipping you off. Okay, so... Let's see. Now we gotta talk to this guy, and this guy right here will recognize our worthiness, and he's gonna be like, Oh, hi! You're out of Rocket. You came here to save us? Why, thank you! I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And here we have a Lapras, and yes, we are gonna be nicknaming this Pokemon. Everybody say hello again. To good old Nessie. It's been a while, Nessie. I haven't seen you since Pokemon Crystal or something like that. And yes, it's going to Team 1. And yes, Lapras, it's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you'll be a good trainer for our Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift across water, which is true. Okay. So here we are going into the 11th floor, the other section, and we have one more Team Rocket battle before Giovanni. He's like, stop right there. Don't you move. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go. Team Rocket member wants to take on us, and he's going to come out with his Cubone. And let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit because, yeah, we, we do not want to battle this guy. So Surf Attack, and he's coming out with a Marowak. The irony in these guys using these Pokemon that they killed. Let's go with Pin Missile. And Pin Missile again, that actually works. Remember, Pin Missile is a bug type move, and it's actually more effective move for bug like for psychic Pokemon, you know. When I f when I was like I don't know, it wasn't so long ago that I figured out that bug types were actually effective against, you know, um, psychic type Pokemon. It it's just that, you know, when it was in Pokemon red and blue, hell, even in green. Yeah, like, there was only one actual bug-type attack. Everything else was just, like, slowing it down and everything. So that, 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 that right there just, like, it, it made no sense. But thankfully, you know, generations have passed, and uh, it's made it, made it a little bit easier for bug-type Pokemon to have an advantage against these psychic-type Pokemon. All right, so let's go right ahead and open this. We open it up, and we're going to be talking to Giovanni himself. Ah, Draven, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-ups matter, or experience a world of pain. Yet he just comes up to me and battles me, so here we go. Another battle against Boss Rocket Giovanni, and he is coming out with his neat arena right here. Yeah, he, he's coming out with all, all the Pokemon he needs to defeat us. And look at this. Surf Attack does some good damage, but here comes a Fury Attack. Oh, God. 
That's two hits. Okay, so he wasn't lucky enough for that. So let's go again. Surf attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated Nidorino. Okay, so let's see. He's going to be coming up with his Nido Queen. Let's go for Ultra Psycho. Let's go ahead and teach this guy how to actually Pokemon battle. And, well, here he comes out with his Nido Queen. Let's go. Psychic attack for the win. And that nearly defeats Nido Queen. And here comes that double kick. Not so effective, but it does, you know, some nice damage to Ultra Psycho. But guess what? No one cares. Psychic attack for the win. And there you go. Nido Queen has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And he's going to be coming out with his Kangaskhan. So let's see. Who do I have? Oh, yes. I got my, my, my Nido Queen. So let's go right ahead and use Smasher right here. And he's looking at He's looking across. He's like, wait, he's got Nido Queen too? Wow. So here we go, brick break, and bam. That actually hits it pretty good. And here comes a rage attack from Kangaskhan. And because it was a physical attack, it gets poisoned by our poison point. And well, let's go ahead and finish this Pokemon off. Brick break. Almost for the win. Next one is going to actually help us out with uh, the poison. And because of that, the poison's going to take its effect and almost beat Kangaskhan right here. There we go. Brick break for the win. And just like that, Kangaskhan has been defeated. Alrighty, and here comes Rhyhorn. So let's go back to Leonardo. And let's finish this guy off real quickly. Leonardo, how's it going? Let's go. Serve attack. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my god. Rhyhorn defeated. And that right there, bam, gives us a nice boost to level 43. Giovanni has been defeated. He is not happy. And he's like, bless it all. You ruined our plans for self. But Team Rocket will never fail, fall. Draven, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Okay, alrighty. So after defeating Team Rocket, uh, the Team Rocket members and Giovanni himself, you can come here and talk to the president. He's like, oh, dear boy, thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. You know, in real life, I probably would have asked him for, like, the Master Ball and some money. But I guess the Master Ball would suffice and all that stuff. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Hmm, true. That is very, very true. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it. We've retrieved everything, and I think we do have an escape rope right here somewhere. Somewhere. We got a lot of vitamins and minerals and stuff, and I think I've... Okay, there we go. We got five of those escape ropes. We're going to get the heck out of here. And back, we are in Saffron City. And this guy's like, yeah, Team Rocket is gone! It's safe to go out again. Wow. So, the raw footage right here, guys, is 55 minutes, okay? I cannot wait to start editing this whole thing out because it's going to be a fun one. Anywho, this has been our episode on the Saffron City thing with uh, Team Rocket and all that stuff. In the next episode, we're going to be facing two gyms. That is, the two gyms of Saffron City, the Fighting Dojo and the Saffron City Gym. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. Other than this, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on both gyms and dominate Saffron City. See you guys.